So as we get ready to go camping, there's one more thing I wanted to add to our camping package. And you probably get an idea, a little hint, just from the top box here. So we'll set it off to the side. It's going to be an unboxing video. It is the Blackstone 17 inch grill, griddle. And I've been reading about these for a while. And I've seen people like KYD, Keep Your Daydream, and others in the camping community use this grill and be happy with it. So I wanted to give it a try. There's some feet. Trying to not destroy the box. It does come with the manual. Regulator with a connection for the small Coleman style bottles. The griddle top comes on upside down. Looks really nice on the inside. Grease catch pan. And it is heavy, but it's not too heavy. You can see on the graphic here, they're saying it'll fit nine grilled cheese, six fish fillets, nine chicken breasts, four T-bone steaks, nine burgers, nine pancakes, 12 bacon strips, I bet I could fit more than that, 22 hot dogs, and 12 eggs. drilled and tapped holes to put the feet in and they just screw in. And that is what it takes for setup. We'll go ahead and put this regulator and bottle connection on. There's a little cap here protecting that. So total time just getting this section out of the box was about four and a half minutes. I bought this off of Amazon. It was currently on sale. I believe it was $75. I'll put a link down below in the description. I got a couple other things though. The the griddle can run on these little canisters, so that's an option they just screw on here. But I would prefer to use it connected to the propane of the camper, and they do make a part. This is another thing that I bought off of Amazon, and I'll put the link to this below. This is a connector that allows the griddle to connect to the propane of the camper on a lot of campers have a propane connection at the bottom. Now this is a four foot hose. I was a little bit worried about that length. I think that it means it's gonna to have to be closer than I would like to the camper, but we'll give it a try. This is just a quick connect end And underneath the camper here, if you can see, 
Ours is sideways, is a quick connect coupling for the LP gas. And this coupling does pull to release. So there we're connected. And like I said, you can see that four foot hose is a little shorter than I would like. And then this end of it simulates the top of the bottle and connects into this connection. if I connect this part first. There we go. And I push this cap over the nipple first and hold it in while I start threading. And I keep the little caps that came with that hose because that's how I'll, I'll store it with those caps on to protect the ends. So now that all the connections are made, we're ready to start the grill for the first time. But first we want to turn on the propane to the camper. We haven't used the camper yet this summer, so I need to go up here and turn the propane on. As most fifth wheels, our propane tank is, list, is in the front we have a gauge on ours. I can list a link to these on Amazon also. I like always knowing how much gas there is in here. So I have a gauge on it. I also use an LP tank check system. So I'll put a link to that also on Amazon. Some great things that we use. But this bottle needed turned on. So I turned this to turn it on. And then we'll go back. And there's also a valve where that gas comes out of the back. Right here is just a little valve that needs opened. When it's open, it should be parallel with the hose. When it's closed, it should be perpendicular. And then we'll see if this lights for the first time. It does have an auto ignite, so you don't have to use a, a aim and flame or any type of match to try to light it. When it clicks in, it'll automatically try to start. And it might take a couple times. And we're lit. Before this gets hot, I can lift it off to show you the flames. So from when we started this process to now, it took somewhere between six and eight minutes and we were getting the camera ready and getting everything ready to, to video. So it probably takes about five minutes to get ready. And that included the extra hose so at this point, I'd like to turn that gas line off and connect the little bottle just to make sure it works on the bottle also. So you always want to remember to turn this valve back off that we turned on. And then I'm going to disconnect from here by pulling back and pulling out. I'll put the cap back on here to protect this from any road grime that would come back from the wheels or under the camper and it's in place, the valve shut. I'll put the cap on this to protect it as we store it. I'll unscrew this connection. And then after you unscrew it, it's actually still on there. You have to pull out. And I saved this red cap to cover this and protect it. And it actually holds it all together. And I'll find a good storage place for this, maybe in one of these drawers. And then we'll try the little bottle just to make sure. It just screws into that same port. I can put a link to those little bottles on the Amazon list too. 
Sometimes different brands go on sale. This particular brand, Worthington, were two in a package for a better price than the Coleman ones. And again, it'll auto ignite. All you do is turn the knob. And it may take two times or three times to get the line primed. So I had tried to ignite this 10 to 15 times and it didn't light, so I got nervous and we stopped videoing. We recontinued now. And I wanted to take the lid off and take a look underneath so that gas wasn't building up under there as it tried to ignite. And I think it just needed some more prime time. This tank was just put on and even though we had run some gas through the, the camper, it was a new connection. So on about the 15th time, roughly, it primed and lit. And you can see that time, the very first click, it primed and lit. So like I say, it may take a few times, may take up to 20 times to prime the line, especially if you have a longer hose, it might take even longer. But I would encourage you to take this off when it's not hot to see when it lights rather than letting the any gas build up underneath there. There are vents that should prevent any gas build up, but it's just safer to take it off. And there's just pegs that go into holes to line this up and that's it good to go in a future video we'll show seasoning this grill and we'll show some videos of cooking with it at camp